Since we came to church, we might as well have church before we go home. So thank God that our leader is with us today, Bishop Gilbert Earl Patterson. Oh, it's okay to let him know that we love him.
Today we're going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. How many of you know that you can call on God? You know the power of prayer? Okay, you won't have no problem putting your hands together with us. Amen. Bye. 
why don't you just reach over and tell somebody, I know I can go to him in prayer because I have been to him in prayer. And you know what? He worked it out every time. Give him the fruit of your lips. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we magnify your name. You're worthy of all praise. Worthy of all honor. Worthy of all glory. And we bless your name today. And we bless your name. And we bless your name. And we bless your name. And Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The psalmist simply said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us do what? Exalt his name together. So it does not matter where you may be from geographically does not matter what your denominational or non-denominational affiliation may be. It doesn't matter who you are from a standpoint of gender or ethnicity. When we come together, it is by the one spirit that we are baptized into one body. And it's the right time to give glory and to give praise and to give honor to the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Thou art worthy. Can you tell him? Thou art worthy thou art worthy oh Lord oh bless your name 
to receive glory. Glory and honor. we thank you because you are so worthy and even as you just extend your hand to the person that is beside you knowing that in the word of God we read that if any two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything we can ask what we will and God you said in your word that you would do it and for these few moments that we will stand before your people on today, God, we decree and we release a healing and a delivering anointing in the midst of your people this day. We bind the devil. We command sickness, illness, disease, and infirmities to be rebuked that the glory of the Lord God might be revealed in this place. Woman, God's healing you right now. Man, God's setting you free right now. Hallelujah. Satan, we take authority over you according to the word of God and we decree that God's very presence permeates the atmosphere in this building right now. And knowing you like we do, we thank you. We thank you in advance for your healing touch. Thank you for your glory that's being revealed. She, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ba -ba -ba Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Brother Andre, you've been on, you've been on my mind lately. <laughs> Praise God. I, I just sense a healing that God is even bringing forth in your life right now. Mm -hmm. with, all, with all of the great singers and musicians that we have, there's an anointing God has placed on him that uh, is needed to back active in this music department. Uh, just, just, just walk down here and give the Lord some praise. Just, just, just come down here. Just come down and just, just give Him thanks. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Uh, Deacon Black, just go lay hands on him and declare, "Be healed." Receive it in Jesus' name. Mm. Be healed. Every one of you out there that can reach five people. Just lay your hand on them and tell them in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. In the name of in the name of Jesus, be healed. Mm. Woo! In the name of Jesus, mm. be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Ah! Jesus be healed. And then an so Yeah, Shandalo. In the name of Jesus be healed. Receive it. You better get it. You better get it. You better get it. Woo!
Hallelujah. Well, sit down if you can. Sit down if you can. Give the Lord a hand of praise and take your seat. Mm. going to go to the scripture but you just need to tell somebody you won't leave it like you can in Jesus name bound oppressed afflicted sick or lame why for the power of the Lord is still the same. So just tell somebody, you, you won't leave it like you can. Tell somebody, I. I won't leave here like I came. Come on and embrace somebody and let them know. We, we won't leave here like we came in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Have a seat and open your Bibles with me a few moments. Mm. I've said, I've said to the saints who were present at the 745 a.m. worship that on this past week, I think it must have been Monday, I received a call from uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes and later on that week from um, Pastor Noel Jones and all of the uh, pulpit notables. <laughs> 
And then I kept getting that echo from the prayer room and the sanctuary. <laughs> From the saints being led by Mother Deola Wells Johnson and after a while my good, nice, long, uh, drug-induced hours of sleep. wouldn't last and I start you know how you get a little restless and uh, I spoke to someone about coming and speaking for me today and then the day before yesterday I now nah, it's all right I do it myself <laughs> Because, see, I, I, I found out something. That the power of the Lord is still the same. <laughs> Whatever you read about here. So you. You won't leave here <laughs> like you came. Tell somebody, you won't leave here like you came. Tell yourself, I, 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 I won't leave. Turn to somebody else and tell them, we, we won't leave here like we came in Jesus' name. Please, please sit down for a minute, Charles. Let, 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 me, let me read something. In Luke chapter 4. Hallelujah. She just praising him for me. That's all. Awesome. Because today I really break loose and praise him. I ain't going to be able to preach and praise him the same day.
You are all we have. Besides the Lord. And I, and I know with your courage and your folk doing, things will be all right. I love you. Praise God. Oh, I tell you, the deacons, the deacons called me in a meeting Tuesday last week. I got in front of them. I said, now, I know this is in the Baptist church, so y'all can't be calling, <laughs> calling me in to turn me off since this is in the Baptist church. But it was something like Deacon Edwards there. They wanted me to know how much the deacons love the pastor and how, <laughs> and how that they were just right there. You know, people said they got your back. They, they, they got me propped up all around. And, and like I tell y'all, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go that way today. I can't go that way and this way the same day. <laughs> Luke. I'm going to take a few minutes here in Luke, and then I'm going to sit down. You're not going to hear every Sunday when I get up and every Tuesday night when I get up, you're not going to hear testimony, testimony, testimony. But I tell you what you are going to hear. You're going to hear a steady diet beginning in a very few weeks. Where almost every time you walk through that door, every demon, every disease, every Every sickness is going to hear in one form or another. Jesus still works miracles. If you can have it. Tell somebody, I don't know what you got, but if you can have it. God can heal it. In fact, he's healing it now. y'all would let me get to the scripture. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to a scripture that but, but that, that is so much of God's healing presence. I don't, I don't know why y'all don't feel it all over there. I don't know why there's anybody sick over, right over in there. I, 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 I,
You know, one, one of these days, the Lord is going to perfect the message that he just kind of whispered in my ear, you know, that asked the questions, why didn't you do it before now? Sometimes we wait for God to do something. We go past mile marker one, two, three, four, like the disciples in the storm. You all remember the first watch of the night? Jesus didn't come. Six o'clock until nine o'clock, they out there battling the storm. Jesus wouldn't come. Second watch, midnight, or rather nine until midnight, he didn't come. Third watch, midnight to 3 a.m., he didn't come. Fourth watch of the night, <laughs> from 3 a.m. to 6 in the morning, finally he shows up. I said two or three Thursday nights ago about what the doctor said and blah, 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 blah. I said, Lord, now you're starting to do something in me that you didn't do the first two years. Why not until now? Touch somebody and tell them some things God wants documented before he eliminates us. Some, sometimes the Lord, I, 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 I don't want to mess with it until it's certified by the lab technicians, by two or three doctors, and then you have the boldness to get up and tell everybody, and it go all over the whole world, and God said, now it's documented. Give it to me.
There's nothing else to say. We just say, yes, we receive. And yes, we believe. There's nothing else to say. It's already done. We, we're going to give those of you an opportunity who believe our report and to whom the arm of the Lord has been revealed to come and accept the Lord as your savior. We're gonna do what we're gonna do quickly. We don't want you to leave because we're going to show our love, not in words, but in deed and in truth. We're giving you an opportunity to come now and accept the Lord as your savior. We're giving you an opportunity now to come and join this church and be taught how to follow after that for which he apprehended you. He apprehended us to be called of God in Christ Jesus. The Spirit says come. If you will come now, softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, oh sinner, come home. Why would you tarry when Jesus is pleading? He's pleading for you and for me. Why would you linger and heed not his mercy? His mercy for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home, earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling calling for sinner come I'm only temporarily interrupting Mother Diola because of something that I said this morning and I felt I needed to repeat it Recognizing that we are living at a time in our nation when the Lord is doing what he said in Revelation when he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. When 9-11-2001 occurred, it was God knocking upon the door, the harbor of New York. 
few days ago, he knocked on the harbor of New Orleans. Yesterday, he knocked on the harbor of Galveston. What is uh, the harbor? It's a port. Whether it be a seaport or an airport, it is a legal entrance into a country. Don't get confused and think that knocking on the port of New York means that he's trying to get New York's attention. That's where all of the great commerce of our nation, the refineries are down on the Gulf Shore. He's not knocking at the door of these cities, he's knocking at the door of this nation. He's telling us, let me in. And I said to the saints this morning that although the day after Katrina struck and Sister Sherby Grubbs was so quick to pull together between 10.30 that morning and one o'clock that afternoon food to feed about 200 people who had fled from New Orleans and from southern Alabama and Mississippi and that Tuesday night was church anyway and we raised a little over eight thousand dollars increased that to ten split it between four pastors in that congregation we had our Thursday night celebration of our founder, Bishop Mason, Thursday night before last. And we raised a certain amount of money for Koji Charities, and I gave from myself and my wife $60,000 in that offering. But the Lord spoke to my heart, and I said to the saints this morning, and I mentioned Brother and Sister Covington, that they will be my lead persons on this. But he put it in my spirit that personally, Sister Patterson and I, we want to move, uh, relocate a family. I don't know whether it's coming out of the first or the second hurricane to Memphis. I believe that we'll be able to get the church and we'll do a second. But whether it's the pastor and church together or the church doing one and the family doing one, we intend to, I don't know is the word repatriate, I don't know, I may have the wrong word, but we want to move at least two families who have lost everything. in order to make sure that we don't get involved with some shrewd rip-off artist, then naturally there are some procedures they're going to go through to search it out. But this is that day when the Lord says, whosoever hath this world's goods, seeth his brother hath need, and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? I wish you'd tell somebody, you are not blessed just to be blessed. But like Abraham, God bless you to make you a blessing. Let's praise God for our leader. Praise God for our pastor. We praise God for our leader. In just a few minutes, Sister Patterson is coming to receive the cards from the heart for Bishop's birthday. But right now, we're going to do our second mile giving quickly. When Elder Plummer was expediting the offering, several of you were not here. So if you have not paid your tithes, you may do so. If you paid your tithes and you gave your offering, 
This is appropriately entitled Second Mile Giving. We go beyond the call. And God blesses us through our prayer and through our faithfulness in giving. We give of ourselves and we give of our substance.